sister, look at me. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of <laughs> Two Guys on Beer. I'm Johnny Bellotta. Uh This is Dave Monterana, and we're coming to you from where else? National Mechanics in Old City, Philadelphia, uh, for another show. And this one on Anchor, Anchor's Summer Brew, uh, Anchor Summer Ale. I'm sorry, uh, from Anchor Brewing Company out in San Francisco. This is an American Pale Wheat Ale. Um, it, Anchor claims that this is the first American wheat for summertime that was ever brewed. It's definitely it's a, a it, it's an interesting claim. Um, this is actually a filtered uh, wheat, 50% wheat, 50% barley. It's an all malt. I challenge you to find uh, anything that it, like any wheat that's not all malt. Yeah. That, you know, that's an adjunct. Um, they claim that it is. Um, well, okay, so it's an American pale wheat. What does that mean? It's like the it's an, it's like the American version of a half of ice. Is basically what it boils down to. It's going to have a long-lasting head. A lot of that's lent to it by the wheat, it, and um, and they can tend to be very carbonated, which is like sort of it's part and parlance to the ale yeast that they use because this is brewed with an ale yeast, and um, and and the ale yeast can also lend it uh, a little bit of um, citrus. Um, and that citrus flavor um, yeah. can come off of the yeast, but a lot of times with these sorts of American wheats, they use a very neutral yeast, and so they just let the wheat do all of the talking, and the yeast sort of remains hidden in the background. Yeah, and then out of these beers, I mean, um, you, you will get some of these people, uh, some bartenders will serve it, where you'll see a lot of wheat beers being served with lemon. Uh, the reason why or beers are orange, or orange or something citrus, and the reason why that is is to cut uh, the wheat yeast edge that you get uh, out of these. But I suggest you try most of your wheat beers without a lemon or without an orange to see what they taste like before that. Um, it's a bad idea. As you can tell, like Dave said, it is an unfiltered. Uh, it is an unfiltered American wheat. Um, it's, it's somewhat filtered. And it's somewhat. It's it's pretty much filtered. And there's yeah. that sort of rocky head that we were talking about. Yeah, it gives a nice fluffy head. It has the consistency of like uh, fluffed eggs. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like fluffed up eggs. So. Nose on it is typical of an American wheat. I mean, it's yeasty, yeasty, very sure. yeasty. Not getting, but not getting the citrus that you get in a lot of wheat beers. No, no, you're definitely not getting any of that. Not a lot of that coriander smell. You also get no, out of them too. No, and I think that has to do with the fact that they are using a very neutralized yeast. Yeah, let's give it a taste. It's cool, it's refreshing, there's nothing offensive about the flavor, but it doesn't distinguish itself at all from a very mild wheat. There's, I mean, so we already discussed it, like the yeast is the yeast and the hops, it didn't give it any nose, it didn't give it any flavor either, so like this is relying like 100% on that 50% yeast, yeah. or I'm sorry, wheat to give it flavor, and it's just, wheat by itself is not powerful enough to make a beer without something to help it out. And here I'm just feeling like this flavor is just sort of left unfinished. Yeah, I have to agree uh, with my esteemed colleague here. Uh, I'm looking esteemed. for, I'm looking for a little bit more of a uh, of a wheat profile in this. I'm looking for a little bit more of a yeasty profile, and I'm not getting it. Uh, the mouthfeel is very crisp, but and, and it gets dry at the end, refreshing enough that it's good, but at the same time, um, I, I'm a little disappointed in, in the flavor profile of it. I kind of wanted it to be a little sweeter, and uh, I'm just not getting that off of this. So no. uh, I'm a little unexcited by it, and I have to say my rating, would I, I'm going to bring it in at, a, at like 80. I mean, exactly I'm, what I was thinking, 80, 81. I mean, like, it's not bad. It's, it's crisp. It is refreshing. There are people that would like something this light, but... Yeah, uh, what can you say? So uh, we love Anchor, and we'd love to thank you uh, for... Uh, checking us out once again. Uh, we'd like to thank National Mechanics uh, for hosting us. And if you'd like to check out the other things that we're doing and events and things that we're at, you can check out our Twitter feed at twitter.com slash TGOB. You can also uh, check us out on Facebook and get some information there. Become a fan. Let us know what you think about the show at uh, facebook.com uh, slash TGOB. And for two guys on beer, I'm Johnny Bellotta. I'm Dave Moderana. Go, Go enjoy some beer. beer. I'm a papa, look at me. Mama, papa, look at me. Look what your boy grew up to be. Look what your boy.